Take us through what went on today with your campers and, and why you continually to continue to come back to Park Tudor for this type of event. Uh, well, this is something special, and I, you know, I remember when I was younger going to a lot of older guys' camps that I looked up to. So I just want to make sure it's all full circle because it's all about uh, empowering the next generation and just try and make basketball as beautiful as a sport as it can be. What was it like to see these IU guys come back and support you? Uh, I mean, that was cool. You know, most of those guys I've never even played with before, yeah. as you probably already know. I really only played with Juwan. So, you know, it was cool to have them be able to convince them to come down. That just shows how strong the IU connection is. And, you know, I'm definitely going to try and make it down to a game. It's going to be tough, uh, obviously, during the season. But and that just shows that, you know, no matter what generation it is, if it's for a good cause, if it's for empowering the community of Indiana, they're, they're definitely going to be there for you. What were the kids' reaction to see see those IU guys here in this gym? <laughs> I mean, they were asking me before they even came, where are the IU guys at? Where are the IU guys? At my camp. So <laughs> that just shows <laughs> how excited they were to see them. So. When they showed up, I felt like they just brought the energy of the camp up. You know, they went, came in here playing knockout, playing two-on-two -two with them. So those are just memories that those kids can live with. Take us through your last couple of days, what everything has been like, and then what, what was intriguing about going to Sacramento for you? Uh, you know, what was intriguing about it was, was their youth. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like I can add some value to them. And just being another uh, smart guard who can shoot it, it's, it's quick. Uh, you know, scrappy on the court, and I just add another weapon to their team. What uh, that roster, when you look at it, you know, uh, obviously you mentioned the youth, but kind of like, what do you think the opportunities are, are for you guys? Is it kind of a young group moving forward, not just this year, but as you build? Yeah, I mean, well, you know, they're a team that doesn't really have an identity yet, so I want to go in and, and, and try and mold that identity, you know, whatever it's going to be. You know, I haven't played a game with them yet, so I don't know what it could be, but. You know, I'm really excited. You know, it's just another opportunity for me to go in, prove myself in this league, prove that I belong, and just to have fun with it. Probably hadn't set in yet, but you got your new gear on, a camper providing you with that yeah. hat. What was that <laughs> moment like for you? Uh, you know what, that kid, man, Eli, he's come to a couple of my camps before, and I will always remember that kid. Uh, he's a special kid. And for him to give me my first Sacramento hat, as you can see, I put it on immediately because I don't have any sack gear right now. Was, was special and it just touched my heart that he was able to give me even and even my family members a couple of my hats so uh, that just you know shows you got a lot of support from me and I appreciate that. Would you say what you went through in going to Sacramento was that kind of your first realization uh, that, that the league is a business that's something the first first second third year players finally realize after going through it one time? Yeah, uh, I believe so. I learned about all the ins and outs and how everything works. And, you know, I went through my first free agency and it was stressful. Yeah. But, you know, I also embraced it at the same time. It was beautiful. Uh, I was, you know, blessed to be in a position I am to even be a free agent and have different teams calling about me and talking to different teams. Um, so, you know, I'm, you know, starting to now learn about how all, all this works. You were with Doug McDermott, right, for month or two yeah, yeah, yeah what, yeah, what can Dougie. Pacer fans expect from him uh, I actually played with Dougie uh, in Russia when we went to the College Olympics my sophomore year of, uh, of college uh, the summer so I've been knowing Dougie for a long time actually uh, Doug is somebody that can shoot it shoot the lights out and he's got a quick twist to his game actually and he knows how to come off those pin downs come off tight curl shoot it so it's just another weapon for the Pacers to use. What is it about IU where there's connections one generation to another, one group to another? Like you said, you have multiple guys here, you played with one of them, but yet they all come to your camp. What's the connection there from one group to another to the next and so on? Uh, I mean, that connection is, you know, if, if you give, if you lay your all at Indiana and people see that you're giving your all, your heart, your soul, everything to it, you know, they're just they're gonna have your back no matter what no matter what happens they're definitely gonna be there for you hard times great times like this where they're just showing up at camps so that just shows how the blessing of going to Indiana playing for them wearing those jerseys wearing those stripes is you know it's amazing 
what are your thoughts about the future? I mean, obviously, like you said, you know Juwan. Mm-hmm. Um, you've heard of Romeo. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've heard a little bit about some of the other guys. You saw what Archie did. What are your thoughts about the future of value basketball? Uh, thought, it, looking real good. You know, I feel like they're they're young. They're a lot young. You know, like the team that I'm going to. But you know, that, that also shows a lot of upside. It also shows a lot of growth for them. And I feel like they're gonna live up to all the pressure. I already know that all the fans are putting on them. But, uh, you know, main thing with them is they just got to stay together and don't worry about a lot of the outside noise. If they just get in the gym, work hard, I already know everything's going to come come around. What are your thoughts as a guy who was a star in Indiana in high school, who went to IU? What are your thoughts when you see other guys like Romeo, like Robert Finnessy, like Demise Anderson, in-state guys going to IU? Well, that just adds to the narrative that the best players come out of Indiana. And I feel like I believe that 100%. We got a lot of guys from Indiana in the NBA right now, and a couple guys, as you as you said, went to IU. So, I mean, when kids play for Indiana and they're a star and they want to play for IU, it just shows that they want to put Indiana on the map and just show everybody what Indiana is all about.